Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to make a foil transfer with markers. Let's get started. What you will be needing today is a piece of paper, a pencil and eraser, a permanent marker like a Sharpie, and then some washable markers like Mr. Sketch and Crayola. You're also going to need a spray bottle filled with water, or you can use a wet sponge or paper towel, and a piece of tin foil. The first thing we're going to need to do is draw a picture on our paper. So we're going to use our markers and create a tie-dye design on our foil and transfer those colors onto our white paper. So whatever we draw on our white paper is going to get all the tie-dye colors from our foil. So whatever kind of picture you draw here, you want to make it something that's going to be bright and colorful and is okay if all the colors mix together. But it could really be a picture of anything. You can even make just an abstract design for your colors to go on top of also. I'm going to draw a big butterfly on my paper, but like I said, you can do whatever you'd like. I have a butterfly here that I'm going to use for my foil transfer. Once I finished drawing it with pencil, I traced it in my permanent marker, my Sharpie. If you don't trace your drawing, it's not going to be very easy to see it once we're done with our transfer. So you want to make sure you trace it in something permanent so it doesn't get messed up when we add our water also. I colored in certain areas that I wanted black, but I left it as mostly lines and shapes and didn't really color too much in so all of my colors can get added with my transfer. I'm going to grab my piece of tin foil and smooth it out as best as I can. It's okay if it's not perfect. And I'm going to lay my drawing right on top, right in the center of my foil. And with my Sharpie, I'm just going to mark where the corners of my paper are by just tracing the corners of my paper onto my tin foil. Doing this is going to help us place our paper later so we know that when we're coloring, we're coloring inside this box. That's the only space we need to color. And we'll know when we place our paper on to get our colors on our paper that we're lining it up in the right spot. I'm done with my permanent marker so I can put that to the side. And I'm getting my washable water-based markers out so I can start to color in on my foil. So whatever I draw inside these corners on my foil is what's going to transfer onto my white paper. So I want a nice rainbow tie-dye effect for my butterfly. So I'm going to use all my colors of the rainbow and just color them inside my foil to make like a sun bursting kind of firework like design. Whatever you draw on your tin foil is going to start to mix together a little bit once we add our water, but the kind of general shape that you're making with your colors will stay the same once it gets on our regular paper. So if you're drawing stripes of color, you'll be able to see that those are in stripes. If you're drawing different blobs or shapes of color, it's going to come out kind of similar to how it looks on your tin foil on your white paper. So you want to be thinking about that as you're adding your colors. So you want to be thinking of that as you're adding your colors on your tin foil. I'm just going to do all my colors of the rainbow going around like this in a circle until I reach to the corners that I marked off from my white paper. You want to be careful not to touch your marker on your tin foil because it will come off on your hands. Now that I finished coloring that and I made it all the way to those corners, I'm going to hold up my butterfly drawing face down and make sure I can line it up pretty well on there. I think I got it. So I'm going to grab my spray bottle and I am just going to mist my tin foil with my spray bottle. And now you can start to see those colors are lifting off the tin foil and they are starting to blend together even more. So we don't want too much water, but you want a good amount to lift your colors. And then you're just going to take your drawing, you're gonna hold it face down, so drawing side down, and line it up 
with your corners. Now you can only drop this on once. You can't drop it on and move it around or it's going to smear your color. So you want to line it up as best as you can and then just let it fall. I'm going to take my hands and very gently press my paper onto my tin foil, making sure that all that color is getting absorbed on my paper. Now, if you don't have a spray bottle, what you can do instead is wet your paper instead of wetting the tin foil. You can get a damp sponge and press on your actual drawing with your damp sponge to get your paper wet and then press it onto your tin foil that way. Or you can use a wet paper towel, lay that across your drawing for a few seconds to get it nice and wet that way and press it onto your drawing also. You're just going to want to make sure your marker is still nice and wet on your foil before you do that. Make sure it hasn't really dried on there too much so you know your color is going to lift off of there nicely. All right, so I can even see my colors coming through the back here. I'm going to lift my tin foil, and like I said, I don't want it to fall back on here. So I'm just going to carefully peel it up from one corner, and you can see all of the colors from my tin foil are gone. And I'm left with a beautiful rainbow butterfly. Now with your tin foil, you can always do another picture. Just wipe off your markers off of here with a paper towel and recolor on it and print on another piece of paper. And you can keep using that foil again and again. But I finished my butterfly. I like the way that it looks. Your picture is always going to have a few little white spots in areas where your marker might not have been wet or your spray bottle might not have been too wet. I'm going to let this dry because my paper is pretty damp but my picture is finished. When you're done with your foil transfer, take a picture of it and share it with me. I can't wait to see the amazing pictures you guys make and all the different kinds of tie-dye and colorful designs you decide to choose. Try your best, have fun, and get creative. Bye.